commercially, uh, with the combustion side of things in motorsport, it was getting tougher and tougher, and it was no longer aligning with the industry or with the manufacturers. So already two years ago, we could see everything was going EV very quickly. I think every year it's ramping up and up and up more and more. Um, and you know, I thought there's there an opportunity for us here to sort of get a jump start and uh, to start on the EV uh, earlier than some others. You know, we see a lot now in combustion motorsport, there's so many rules and regulations, which is great, it's what keeps the sport fair, but it sort of prevents you from wanting to be innovative. You know, you go back to Bruce McLaren, John Britton, um, some of those iconic Kiwis who were able to start with a clean piece of paper, build something iconic, and then that almost formed some of the rules going forward. With this new form of automotive technology, um, with there not being a perceived path at the moment, there's an opportunity for us to do this similar sort of thing. Yeah. Uh, okay, more with electronics, probably more than the mechanical side like it used to be. Sure. Um, but having that sort of more open book gives us a lot of freedom. We've got young guys here, um, not long out of university, very, very clever people mm -hmm. who haven't been brought up in set ways in motorsport. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we've designed this based on a rally car, so that's one important fact to know is uh, it's running two motors, so we can put four motors on it. Each motor's got a capability of up to 200 kilowatts peak power, so that means if we did have all four motors on it, it's 800 kilowatts. But, you know, that form of EV motorsport already exists. There's already rally cross cars, there's hill climb cars that do pikes peak. Yeah. You know, our point of difference is a rally car and making it work over a long period of time. So based on that, we're two motors, uh, 400 kilowatts peak power, but Depending on the length of the stage, we might have to be anywhere tunable between 200 to 400. Right. Obviously the longer stages that we need to complete, maybe the less power we've got to draw from the car. Yeah. Uh, Two-speed gearbox, four-wheel drive, so transmission in the front, transmission in the rear. Um, at the moment, so it's got a prototype battery in it while we focus on the performance and reliability, um, but the car's weighing 1,400 kilos right now. Um, with the big rally battery, which will be in the car next year, the car's going to be quite a bit heavier, maybe another two or 300 kilos more. Um, so we do have a disadvantage on the weight side, but you know we gain all that back with the technology and what the car is capable of with the electronics, the torque vectoring, yeah. um, brake regeneration. Is this, is this an old new yeah. world of, of how we're going to make the car go faster? Um, so yeah, it's, it's exciting. While the car is different to the combustion at the end of the day, you're still talking um, anti-squat, anti-dive, the roll centres, everything's very similar, so we've got to get that dialed in first. And then pretty much within 12 months, we want to be doing the first full-length rally. Um, it's something we have to build up to because we've got to take all the data and information now from this initial test and, and development and put that into, all our, into our software and actually then determine what we need from the battery and how we're going to manage the battery to do a rally. Um, you know, something like this, it's not just a matter of building it, flick the switch and off you go, you do a rally. Uh, it's a little bit more complicated than that and we've got to do it step by step. There'll be a lot more simulation that will have to go on before an event. You know, you'll have uh, the computer software set up which we're working on that you'll basically input all your, your event statistics and it will go, you might have, let's say, 10 engine modes in the car. Right. And then you know, okay, for what we simulated on the road section and the stage before the event, we have to be on mode three or mode four. Mm -hmm. And it's effectively like a bit of fuel saving. So, you know, you might have a short loop of stages and you might be able to run more power. Sure. You have a long group and you might have to have less power. You know, it'll be very much calculated to pretty much use the battery. Yeah. Basically, you want, when you change the battery, to have nothing left uh, yeah. at the end and, and utilize all of it that you can. Yeah, looking forward to actually getting it out on the gravel now and actually having some fun with it as well.